Hey, what's going on guys? It's Combo here. Today I'm bringing you guys some World at War Wii gameplay, some vintage old World at War Wii gameplay. And yes, this game is no longer online, but the rest of the Call of Duty games are, and I still get that question a lot, so I wanted to answer that. Um, this is the only Call of Duty game that you cannot play on the Wii anymore. And some people ask, ask me, like, you know, what happened? Because, you know, Nintendo shut down the servers for the Wii a long time ago. How can you still play this game? Um, the Call of Duty servers for all of the uh, Call of Duty games on the Wii, except for this game, ran on Activision servers or s somebody else's servers. I'm not sure if it's Activision or, or somebody, somebody else. And uh, they are still online. They haven't shut them down yet. So you can still play Call of Duty 4 for the Wii. You can still play Black Ops Wii, Modern Warfare 3 Wii and all that good stuff but um, yeah so here's some good old world at war gameplay I probably used this at some point in the in the way way long ago um, distant past um, but I, I have like three gameplays left of world at war on my computer um, because obviously the game is no longer online and I just um, you know wanted to upload this but since World War 2 is out and a lot of these guns that were in World at War are in World War 2 including this gun here the SVT I thought I would um, share this gameplay with you guys and hopefully you enjoy it but it's been a while since I uploaded um, first off Merry Christmas um, or you know happy holidays uh, to whatever you celebrate I hope you guys have a good one I hope you're doing what you want to do and um, yeah, so my semester finished up of school, my first semester of my senior year, so I have one semester left before I graduate in May, um, and then I'm probably off to graduate school. I've, I've applied to graduate school, and we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping for the best, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to obtain my PhD. So um, I'm applying to graduate school to just finish up my first semester. And so I'm making this video for you guys. I haven't, I've made like one or two videos in the last couple months, but uh, I should probably make a few more over over uh, winter break. Maybe get you guys some World War II gameplay if you want to see that. And um, you know, just maybe just upload for uh, for you guys who are still around. I know a lot of people may not be around my channel anymore. Um, oh yeah, I definitely used this gameplay before because I remember reacting to that uh, triple satchel charge. Uh, it was probably like a year and a half ago. I mean, you probably, you guys probably don't even remember this gameplay, but um, either way, you know, it's still, it's still good. It's still World of War for the Wii. Got to recycle these gameplays now that this game's not online anymore. But um, yeah, so uh, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, my channel's you know not really active anymore. Obviously, Call of Duty on the Wii is not a, really a thing anymore. Call of Duty on Nintendo, I should say, isn't a thing anymore. So I've been playing a lot of World War II on uh, PlayStation 4. That's what I've been doing. Um, it's it's a solid game, I would say. Um, I, it's definitely playable. I've been playing it a lot. Um, I enjoy it, but it's just not the same as these old Call of Duty games. It's just not the same. It's not as fun. It's not as um, exciting. I don't know. Just something about these games. I don't know if it was just playing on the Wii with with the Wii remote or or what, but it just there's not it's not the same feeling. And I'm hoping, you know, maybe at some point in the future. You know they'll bring Call of Duty back to Nintendo consoles, but you know at this point I don't really know. Um, but for those of you guys who are still around, you know maybe I can get you guys some more videos this break. Um, I also want to start making some more science videos um, and things like that. I, I've said I wanted to do this in the past, but I, hopefully I can just you know get the time together and and put some videos up because you you guys really liked my first science video. It has over twenty five thousand views at this point, which is awesome. But um, either way, I don't know. What do you guys want to see? If you, if you want to, if you guys are still around, I'm not even sure how many views this video will get. But either way, um, if you guys have been playing World World War II, um, it's a pretty it's a pretty solid game. Other than a few things, um, you know, I, th I think Treyarch is really the only company that makes like outstanding Call of Duty games, like complete full Call of Duty games that I love anymore. Um, I didn't even buy Infinite Warfare because I just I just looked at the trailer, I looked at some gameplay of the beta, and uh, I was just like, nah. So I skipped over that one. World War II definitely caught my attention, so I, I ordered it this time around. I didn't get any of the season pass or any, I haven't spent a dime extra other than the core, you know, the base $60 for the game. And I don't plan on it. I really don't plan on buying any of the DLCs or anything like that, but I did put a pretty decent amount of time into it. It is, pl it is fun and playable in certain situations but some of the the score streaks I mean most of the score streaks are useless like really hard to get and they're they're kind of bad and the maps are horrible <laughs> like every single map is horrible um, 
I just wish that there was that there were maps like these in in uh this, and this in my opinion was one of the worst maps in World at War and it was still like a really good map like um, just so many ways to go so many ways to flank and things to do and map control was easy if you knew how if you knew how to do it but in World War Two it's just kind of you know sporadic it's just all over the place and you just have to hope you run the right way because there's so many different um, choke points that just come together and you can either go left straight or, or right and you got to pick one and sometimes there's most of the time there's people behind you just shooting you in the back and stuff like that so you got to kind of it's it's very different from these games you can't really run around anymore you see me kind of running around in these maps just looking for people that's not how it works in World War II you have to kind of just stay posted up somewhere and and uh, hope someone doesn't come from behind you or anything like that but you know either way it's fun it's fun sometimes it's playable and uh, that's just my opinion I think I'm um, fourth prestige now I don't know um, really I guess when school starts again I won't really be playing that much or anything obviously I didn't play during much during the first couple weeks that it came out but since I was on break um, I definitely have been playing it a little bit more and I, I do like the war game mode um, for those who are who on World War 2 and have played it I do like the war game mode um, that's a lot of fun, um, but yeah. So it's just it's just not the same as these Call of Duty games. Treyarch, I'm looking forward to see what Treyarch is going to do next year because, like I said, Treyarch really is the best company in these in this trio, and uh, they know how to make the best Call of Duty game. So I'll pr I will probably buy that one. I don't think I'll buy the the season pass or anything right off the bat. I, I always like to I like to wait after after Black Ops 3. I think I bought the season pass for that, and I just really didn't enjoy any of the DLC or you know the what you get for for buying the DLC it just wasn't worth it for me so um, yeah we'll see we'll see what that what they do with it uh, there's rumors of like a modern warfare shooter again and that would be interesting to see from Treyarch but like I said hopefully you know at one point we'll, we'll have um, Call of Duty Nintendo again but I don't think so um, maybe some point during this uh, break from school I go back about mid-January uh, maybe at some point I will hop onto the Wii games again and see, you know, um, how many people are still playing and that kind of thing. Um, I, I've made these videos in the past and they've been pretty popular, so maybe I'll hop on and get some gameplay for uh, you guys, uh, for, you know, Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops Wii and stuff, see how many people are still online. As well for the Wii U, um, there's still a good am amount of players on um, Black Ops 2, probably close to a thousand. And it's always fun to go back and just, you know, reminisce, I guess, about uh, the old Call of Duties and the simpler simpler times in my life when I had nothing else to do except come home from school and play video games. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I just wanted to make a video check in with you guys, see how everyone's doing for those who are still around. And as well, I wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas again, Happy Holidays, and I hope you enjoy um, your time with your family or whatever you may be doing. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you later.